Hello, I am Lalita S. Umraskar, Economics teacher, BYK College of Commerce welcomes you in online lecture series arranged by Gokhale Education Society's Central Coordination Committee for Class 12. Today I am going to discuss with you chapter number 2 that is utility analysis. Under that I am going to explain relationship between total utility and marginal utility. Before explaining the relationship between total utility and marginal utility, we have to know what is total utility, how to obtain total utility, what is marginal utility and how to obtain marginal utility. Let us see the first concept what is total utility. Total utility is the satisfaction derived by consumer by consuming all units of commodity within a given period of time. Or in other words, you can say like this, it is a sum of all utilities derived by consumer within a given period of time. Now let us see how to obtain the value of total utility. Let us see the formula of total utility. Tu is equal to sigma mu. Tu is equal to sigma mu. Here sigma stands for summation. So summation of all marginal utilities, we get the value of total utilities. Or in another way, you can say like this, Tu is equal to mu1 plus mu2 plus mu3 up to mun. So summation of all marginal utilities, we get the value of Tu. Now let us see what is marginal utility and how to obtain the value of marginal utility. Marginal utility is the satisfaction derived by consumer by consuming additional unit of commodity. Or in other words, you can say like this, marginal utility is the addition made to the total utility. Okay. Now let us see the formula of marginal utility or how to obtain the value of marginal utility. MUN is equal to TUN minus TUN minus 1. Suppose I want to know marginal utility of fourth unit. Now let us see the formula MU4 is equal to TU4 minus TU4 minus 1 that is TU3 or MU4 is equal to TU4 minus TU3. Now let us see the assumption on which this relationship between total utility and marginal utility is based. Okay, first assumption is here, utility can be measured in cardinal numbers. What do you understand by cardinal numbers? It means 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So here we assume utility in cardinal numbers. Second assumption is utility depends on intensity of want. Utility depends on intensity of want. Let us see what is intensity of want. Suppose at this moment I am a thirsty. First glass of water satisfied me a lot. If I consume second glass, I will get less satisfaction. Further, if I consume third glass of water, again I will get less satisfaction. So my utility goes on falling. So here utility depends on intensity of want. Third assumption is consumption of only one commodity and not more than one commodities. Fourth assumption is consumption in quick succession. It means there is no time gap between the consumption of two units of commodities. Okay. Next assumption is number five, homogeneity. It means units of the commodity consumed by the consumer should be homogeneous in shape, size, color, test. That is known as a homogeneity. And number six is there is no change in test, preference, likes and dislike of the society. Let us see this relationship between total utility and marginal utility with the help of schedule. Here schedule given, here three columns are given in this schedule. In first column, units of commodity consumed by the consumer given, total seven units of commodity consumed by the consumer. In second column, total utility is given and in third column, marginal utility is given. Okay, look at the numbers of total utility, 10, 18, 24, 28, 30, 30, 28. What is the observation of this? TU goes on rising. Okay, and here what happened to the marginal utility? Look at the numbers 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, minus 2. So with the consumption of additional unit of commodity, marginal utility goes on falling. 
now let us see the observation of tu and mu schedule one by one what is the first observation at initial stage or at the beginning tu is equal to mu look at the numbers 10 and 10 both are the equal what happened next next observation is what here tu goes on rising tu goes on rising and mu goes on falling with the consumption of additional unit of commodity now when consumer consume sixth unit of the commodity tu becomes maximum that is tu is equal to 30 and mu becomes zero okay and when we jo join these points we get the point of satiety or maximum satisfaction of the consumer okay when consumer consume after point of satiety that is the seventh unit of commodity tu goes on falling but at diminishing rate tu goes on falling but at diminishing rate and mu becomes negative that is minus 2 okay so this is known as disutility or dissatisfaction of the consumer so these are the observation of tu and mu schedule now let us see the graphical presentation of tu and mu schedule we get the uh, we get the graph you can see in the slide on y axis we measure tu and mu curve and on x axis we measure units of commodity consumed total 7 units of commodity consumed by the consumer now let us see the slope of the tu curve tu curve slopes upward from left to right and mu curve slopes downward from left to right this is the first observation of this graph okay when tu curve is at maximum mu curve touches x axis that is x is equal to 0 and when we join these points we get the point of satiety that is also known as maximum satisfaction of the consumer now next observation is what after point of satiety tu curve goes on falling okay and mu curve goes to negative area which is known as disutility region or area of dissatisfaction which is shown by the shaded lines okay so these, these are the observation graphic these are the observation of graphical presentation of tu and mu schedule so what we studied today under the relationship between tu and mu what is total utility what is formula of total utility what is marginal utility what is the formula of marginal utility tabular presentation of this relationship between tu and mu and its explanation and graphical presentation of tu and mu schedule and the observation of the graph so what kind of question is possible in the exam answer the following question so this is possible for four marks question okay explain the relationship between total utility and marginal utility so you have to explain all these points in your answer okay thank you for listening my video lecture